Hey everyone, welcome back to the Oki Twister 66 Garage. I know it's been a couple of months since I've put out a video. I just wanted to kind of give you an update. Some people might be wondering, hey, what happened? Is he done writing? Uh, is his writing over? Uh, well, the answer to that question is no, and I really hope not. But back in late September, I uh, busted up my arm. I ripped the bicep tendon right off the bone and had to have surgery in early October to reattach it. So I've been in this sling uh, for oh, a couple of months now. It's early December. Uh, finally been given permission to take the arm out of the sling and try to get back a uh, good range of motion. So uh, that's why I have not had any videos uh, in the last couple of months. I'm going to uh, get back on track hopefully very soon. Uh, as soon as this arm starts to feel better, I can not only ride, but I can do some of the wrenching that's been kind of backing up on me. We've had some really great weather here in Oklahoma uh, this fall season. Lots of 60s and 70s, clear skies, uh, very little if any rain. Actually, we're in a mild drought right now, but uh, the thing is, I've missed all of it, and I'm so disappointed, it really has sucked. And not only that, but uh, you can see over my shoulder, I've had a lot of boxes arrive. And these were all parts and upgrades that I had ordered before I messed up my arm. And so they've been arriving. I've just been kind of checking them and making sure I got what I ordered and uh, making a big stack here in the garage. So we got plenty of projects on the way. I've also got some news on, uh, I mentioned in an earlier video that uh, I have a, a new project. Actually, I've got two new projects. Uh, one of them is this brand new yeah so there might be some haters out there and uh, oh gosh let's don't open that can of worms but uh, we've got a lot of exciting things planned uh, coming up so stay tuned Okay, and another new project that we're going to take on is my wife is the proud owner of a Jeep Gladiator. So she's got a couple of aftermarket doodads she wants me to put on there. And so we're gonna try to video those when we put those on as well. So like I said, we've got several projects coming up for the Scout. Uh, we've got some of these uh, boxes have some parts for the Harley and so I'm very excited to get going on this the timeline for my being able to ride again is really uncertain uh, I had the same injury about eight years ago and it took about it took about a full year before I felt back a hundred percent of course I don't have to be a hundred percent in order to ride it's just a gradual improvement day after day Right now, my focus is just getting range of motion on the arm. I have no strength in it whatsoever, but it will come along a little bit day by day. Right now, the bikes are basically just in storage, winterized here in my garage. It does not get frigid in my garage. I don't think it, it ever gets below freezing, but uh, I did go ahead and put them each on a battery minder uh, to make sure the battery stays desulfated and uh, just proper charge uh, so it doesn't run down. Uh, another good idea was to fill the, the tanks with fuel, which I did. I've got 91 octane, no ethanol, and a little bit of stable uh, fuel preservative, stabilizer, whatever you want to call it in there. So they should be good to go for the next oh, several weeks, couple of months or whatever. I really anticipate hoping to be able to ride by the spring. So since I cannot wrench nor ride, we may be limited on the video, but I think our next one should probably be to unbox these toys and doodads that we have sitting around here just waiting for some attention. Uh, I'm very excited to get going on those. I'm excited to share that with you when the time comes. So if you like my videos, please hit the like button. Please make a comment. And better yet, please hit the subscribe. Until next time, have fun, ride safe, two wheels down.